Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Taylorette and I will be working on adding the trim and embellishments to the rest of this dress. So we'll start with this part here first because we'll put that down and then whatever is not covered here or we'll cover up all what's poking up here and finish it off with a thicker trim going around there. All right, so I'm going to measure to see how wide I actually want this to be. So I'm thinking about right here is good in the front. So I'll measure, I'm going to measure from here. So that is about four inches on the side from there. And I will duplicate that on both sides. Okay, so if we want it to be four inches, we're gonna add an inch because we need to press it under a half an inch on both sides of the pleats. Trim this off, make a clean cut. And do five inches. I'm going to cut two strips because they will shrink because I'm doing the pleats. So you'll fold it over half an inch and do that on both sides of both strips. So we are about to start the pleating process and I've done this before in another tutorial but I'm going to do these a little bit thinner than I did in my other tutorial on the Civil War dress. So I'll basically be pressing it down and then I'll stick one pin in there like that and then fold it again like so And keep folding it as you go, folding and pinning. So bodice is off the mannequin and I have all my trim pinned. So I'm ready to just literally stick this on here and I don't have to go all the way to the top because there's gonna be trim going down here. So I am going to match this up with the edge and pin down the sides. I would pin on each side of the pleat. So do one side like this. This is actually gonna seem weird, but I am going to trim this down here because I'm gonna put another trim in the middle. So I don't want to have too much bulk on this because this is where my boning is and I have it folded. So I realized I should just trim this off. Okay. So really, I will just literally stitch that down right there. I'm not even gonna hand stitch that. However, I will hand stitch this side. So it's important to pin this correctly, make sure the pins are in place. So I have my basting stitches here. The next step is to create the next trim that's going to be on top, which I will do more of a ruching. So I actually have an extra strip left over that I actually did not use and I didn't need it because it wasn't necessary. So I'm going to gather this, scrunch it up so we have this on the outside. So yeah, I'm gonna do running stitches so this will gather. So before I actually gather it, I'm going to trim this down because it's not necessary for it to be going all the way over. So I'm going to trim it down. Running stitches, which are number five, Going all the way down. And then I'll do this next part about a quarter inch. I'm doing a double stitch next to each other because I feel like that would make it more secure when you're gathering. So eighth inch and then one quarter inch. These will be taken out, so I'm not concerned about them being white. And I will do this at 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so now we have our gathering stitches and we're literally just going to pull this down.
doesn't need to be gathered a ton, just a little bit, ever so slightly. And then I'll gather this to kind of match it on the other side so it's not floating out there. So that will go on top. So this is a side that's going to be underlapping, so we will fold it under. Yep. So before I pin it, I'm going to press it. So yeah, basically take the iron and press it down on high heat with steam in it. And even though you press it out, you just grab the top, press it out, make sure this edge is straight, and literally lay this on top about an inch and a quarter away from this edge here. As you can see, these are the pleats versus the gathers. And I'm gonna do the other side. And I fold this over at the bottom and line it up with the bottom here. This little mannequin. So we have this in the front. I might do a little piece in the middle here. I'm not sure. We shall see. So the front panel is done and now I'm cutting out some strips for my front pieces, one at three and a half and one at two and a half. And then at the three and a half, I start pleating them like I did before. And then the two and a half piece, I folded over the edges a half inch and I brought them over to the machine and did a lot of basting stitches so I could gather the pieces. Then I took my pleated strips and I actually started pinning them to the neckline to cover the front panel and to go all the way around the neckline once that was finished. I took the other two and a half inch strip, gathered all of my basting stitches and started pinning them to the neckline. Then I started hand stitching all of the pieces that I had pinned down including the neckline and the front panel. And then after that was all finished, I took it over to the mannequin and then is the next step. So I basically hand stitched all of these edges down. As you can see, it's all finished. However, I do have these basting stitches still in here. So that is what I will be doing. I will take that out and that will complete the look. These were the gathering stitches and they should be easy to take out. <laughs> I wanted to add something extra to the sleeves just to add an extra touch, so I basically applied the same technique as the neckline. I just made some pleats at four inches total, so I cut them at five inch strips, and then I used a smaller piece in the center just like I did around the neckline and I kind of eyeballed it with the measurements. Um, yeah, so once it was pinned I actually started hand stitching it just like I did all the other pieces. 